Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Me and my family, we're here in Japan. And we're spending the next two and a half weeks petting animals, exploring castles, catching fish, being bitten by deer, going to baseball games, seeing amazing sights, and having a great time. Is it early, guys? Goodness, look at the number of beds in here. One, two, three, four, five, yay! My <laughs> number of beds! <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to Fukuoka, Japan. And after over 24 hours of traveling, we're here! You tired, Tom? Mm. I'll tell you what, these hotels in Japan are so nice. Everything's complimentary, there's no tipping, and the prices and exchange rate are awesome right now. Their room even comes with pajamas. The, the hotel gave the kids a little gift basket and there's like teddy bear slippers oh, and a little toothbrush. All right, let's check out the bathroom. Ooh, look at this shower, big Japanese soaking tub, and of course, high-tech toilets. The seat is heated to your body temperature and it has various cleaning features. It even has sound effects to cover up the sounds of farting. I can't wait to poop. All right, Tom, let's go get some food. All right, we'll hunt and gather for you, babe. All right. The food in Japan is amazing, and the best part about going to restaurants here is that they put models of the food with the prices in front of the restaurant. I think mom would be interested in something like that. Yeah, that's like a beef place, that's steak. Look at that spaghetti with an egg on it. That's really good. Those are cold soba noodles. And this is cold ramen. And this is United Zushi. It's a sweet tofu skin. Right there. And you got that? Well, in the end, we hit out the convenience store and just got something quick and easy. Everyone's tired and hungry. Oh, yeah, little ice cream bonbons. Oh, wow. Uh, we got cold, sweet Inari Zushi. It, it's, it's like sweet tofu skin. Here, just give it a little nibble. Mm. I like it. It's good. This is a strawberry shortcake flavored ice cream bonbon. Can I have one? When the weather is hot and sticky, cold buckwheat noodles with cold dipping sauce is so fabulously refreshing. Well, good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful day here in Fukuoka, Japan, and we actually got some sleep. I think it's time to go get some breakfast. Grab a tray and grab a set of tongs. Yeah, put it on there. Teriyaki and egg chicken. Like grab a that, custard like one. That looks good. This is like sugary. It's good. Why don't you grab one? Oh, this is a milk bun. Grab one of these. Let me grab a lemon danish. We're not. That's an apple pie. You got that? All right. Is that good? Ooh, wish wash. All right, should we go bring the food back to Mama? We got good food. That's a milk bread. It's just a really good soft bread. A croissant with filling inside. Cute. This is like a hot dog thing that Tommy wanted. All right, you're going to try the Pocati Sweat. <laughs> Tom is the only one of our kids that has been to Japan before. You remember Pocati Sweat, right? Oh, yeah. 
Bacardi Sweat's like a sport drink, but the flavor is one that we just don't have in the U.S. This is for you. This is a, like a lemon turnover thing. Oh, that's a good apple turnover. Try not to drink. Like that? Like All right, we just finished up breakfast, and Nathan's super excited to poop. Well, Nathan, are you excited? Huh? Why? I need poop. All right, go for it. Go use the Japanese toilet. Tell us how it was. Wait. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> well, that was so slim, I think. Oh, well, look. It's got an auto clean. If you leave little poo smudgies on it, the sprayer comes out and cleans them off. Jake, do you need to poop too? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. I yeah. loved it. Best story ever, Apple. Now that we got breakfast out of the way, we need to go get rail passes. We're gonna get a special rail pass that allows us to go anywhere in Japan. You can get an unlimited two week nationwide rail pass for about $70 a person. It's much, much cheaper than renting a car. Even though we're checking out, the hotel will let us store our bags in their little locker area. And this is really common in Japan. And it's great for when you're in between hotels, you don't have to carry your bags around all day. We're gonna do something the family's really excited about. We are gonna go to an animal cafe. All right, guys, we're gonna go to Moff's Animal Cafe. This is a place where people who can't have pets come to enjoy being around pets and animals. Now here, just walk really slowly so you don't scare them. Uh, oh, he's so fluffy. See? Yeah. Here, make it so. Oh, yeah. That guy's just so cool. I love it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Is that cute? Yeah. I think he likes me. I think he likes you uh, too. It's so ticklish. What a cabbie bottle. Capybara, 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 capybara. Look at that. Hey. It. You want to hold him? Is that way cool? Yeah. Watch this. Oh, no. oh that's so cool. Uh, Are you having a ball? I'm having a ball. This is so fun. <laughs> oh, and number two. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, so I didn't okay. sit. Oh, baby, no. baby. I'm living I'm living oh. We can kill him. We can kill you. Look at this. Can you hold this? I'm trying to nip me too. <laughs> hey, hey, look at this one. Oh, look, Tommy, iguana. He's very chill. It's a lot lighter than the two pants. Oh, they got a little hedgehog in there. Look at that. That's oh, look, they have chinchillas. They have the softest forever. Those are the cutest little owls. Nice. Check it out. They've got a sloth. Yep, that's the Japanese word for pole. And you see right Was that one of the coolest things? I loved it. I love the coffee bottle. It's so cute. It made noises. <laughs> If you guys want to do this activity or any of the other activities on our trips, we'll put links with more information down in the video description below. Oh, that looks really good, doesn't it? Oh, look at it. These are the Japanese street pancakes. Oh, you guys got to get the fua fua pancakes. There it was. Look at those are fua fua pancakes. Like fua fua means like super fluffy. Just grab some? Go for it, please do. Uh, look at that. That, that looks like oh, This is a berry sauce. Yeah. Mm, it's like a pancake cloud. Holy mackerel, that disappeared. I took a school of piranhas out to lunch. Okay, that looks good. Oh. This, oh. That is the best omelet I have ever had. Is that amazing? Oh, wow, that looks amazing. It's like a Dutch baby smothered in the gooey center of a cinnamon roll with apple slices in it. That's good. Look at that. Oh, there he is. 
Nathan? Nathan? Oh! This game's a scam! Look at this, you can win dried squid. Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh, come on, Thomas! Come on! Yeah! Oh, Nathan! Nathan! Yes! Yes! Oh! Jacob, did you have fun? No. <laughs> okay, Jacob doesn't like claw machines, apparently. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna play an arcade machine. I think we can win. See, hit, hit the light right there. Here, there it is. You got it? You get it? All right, there you go. Oh, hold on. Oh, dad tax. Oh, we got a Pacati sweat. Yeah, Mom, I can't get... This is Aquarius. It's a sports drink here in Asia that's really popular and it tastes so good on hot days. Oh, just... Oh. Look at I, that. Wow. Apparently this thing's a giant robot and its head and arms and stuff will actually move. Uh, uh, Alright. Uh, Alright guys, you ready to go to Nagasaki? Yeah. Okay, now we can hop out. Go. Stand by Tommy. Hello? Oh. Is that Daijoubu? Um, this is no one way. Both <laughs> way. You are uh. the best taxi driver. I know! <laughs> Alright, we're here in the steep hillside suburbs of Nagasaki. And we have a rental house down there somewhere. All right, this is the Game Con, guys. We take our shoes off in the Game Con. All right, let's check this place out. This, you guys like this? Okay, guys, check it out. These are samurai bows. This is a Japanese style house. Instead of carpet, they have tatami mats, which is woven bamboo. It's harder than carpet, but softer than hardwood. And you have the sliding doors made with paper. Normally though, instead of Western style beds, They'll just move the furniture over and lay down futons and sleep there at night. And when you get up in the morning, you put away your futon and you move the furniture back over. All right, guys, we got to look for the bathroom. First one to find the bathroom wins. Oh, I found it. It's in here. Check it out. Once you flush, you can wash your hands in the top of the toilet. Tom, do you want to go with me to go out and get dinner? All right. So me and Tommy are going to go for a little walk and get some Chinese food. I'm down with it. Uh-huh. So yeah. We, we did. The second biggest holiday in Japan is Obon, where you celebrate your deceased ancestors. Families all across Nagasaki will come up into this hillside and shoot off fireworks and have picnics here in the graveyard. That's pretty. <laughs> yeah. Tommy, hit the button. See? Oh, hit oh. that button right there. Here, push the button. We got ourselves Chinese food. Hold that for me. My guess is that was some sort of group prayer or well-wishing because they were doing that in front of a hospital clinic. A little late night stroll through the cemetery. Tadaima! Oh, right. yeah. oh, oh, I didn't order any rice. I th oh, okay. Oh, I think I forgot to buy rice. 
Okay, here is a bunch of gyozas. Gyozas are from China, but here in Japan, they fry them. We got some ramen, another Japanese food that came from China. We got mabe tofu here. That's also another Chinese food that's popular here in Japan. Usually eaten over rice, like a curry. Can I donut? Sweet and sour chicken, something we're familiar with in the U.S. Hey, Jake, you like that donut? Mm-hmm. Good dessert. Can you just give me one of the little balls off it? It's like fried mochi donut. That is, that is, cool. that is really good. Even without the rice, it was a good meal. <laughs> it's still really early in the morning. All right, here you go. Gonna grab the trick? I wanna get that for us. It's a brownie. Why don't you grab one of those? Mm -hmm. This is cream cheese bread. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Whoa, that's so warm and soft. I hadn't pushed out. But, uh. Yeah. Here, check these out. We got brownie, caramel scone. This is like an orange pastry. This has got cream cheese. I think you should try this one. The baked goods are so amazing in Japan. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's a warm cream in that. That is good. Oh. Oh, I I'm touching that. And, and don't, hey guys, and don't put your slippers here in the dirty game car, okay? Tommy. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Hmm. Please go outside. You ready to go see some World War II history? Yes. All right, let's do it. There it is. Drop it in. Take it. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you for riding. Okay. Have a nice treat. Thank you. It's quite hot. Okay. You guys want to get an ice cream treat? Yeah. Okay. This one? Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. You got the ice is good. This is one of Becca's favorite. It's Yukimi Daifuku. It's little balls of ice cream wrapped in mochi skin. Okay, you guys ready? You, you like the gari gari ice? Mm -hmm. I used to eat those all the time. Those are great. Oh, you like the yukimi daifuku? I love it. It's so good. Do you feel nice to eat ice cream in the shade? Yeah. Going straight from Alaska to subtropical Japan has been a little hard on Nathan. Is this too hot for you? Alright guys, the first place we're visiting here in Nagasaki is the Peace Park. As you may know, the second atomic bomb dropped in World War II fell very close to here. About 24 years ago, I lived here in Nagasaki Prefecture. And after marrying Becca, we came here in 2003 as newlyweds. It's really fun to now be able to share that with my children. Here in Japan, there's a tradition that if you fold 1,000 paper cranes, you get a wish. So people who wish for world peace will fold 1,000 paper cranes and bring them to this park. So these are from school kids and different people around Japan who have folded a thousand paper cranes. You can see it's just strings and strings of little tiny paper cranes. This bronze statue was erected just 10 years after the atomic bomb leveled the city. This park is full of statues and monuments donated from communities around the world. Hey Tommy, this is where the atomic bomb was dropped. See that tower? Right here is the epicenter of the atomic bomb attack. About one third of Nagasaki was destroyed and 150,000 people killed or injured. One thing a lot of foreigners don't know about Nagasaki is that it was and still is the center of Christianity in Japan. That right there is the remains of the largest Catholic cathedral at the time in Japan. This was the ground level at the time of the atomic bomb. See? See those are pieces of dishes, those are pieces of people's roof tiles. So this right here is a monument to the 10,000 Koreans who were killed in the atomic blast. Many of them were here against their will. Leaving food, water, and other offerings on the graves of people who passed away is a tradition in Asia. And these water bottles are all left for the spirits of those Koreans who died here.
These are all things that were found that were melted by the blast from the atomic bomb. That's a glass bottle. It's so pretty. Yes, that was a little girl's lunchbox. It's made out of cranes, that's amazing. Wow, that is a lot of cranes. Cranes? No, these ones are already, yeah, that's a little paper crane right there. I'll tell you what, that museum was interesting. A few of the displays were a little bit graphic for our younger kids, but uh, I'm glad we went. This is the one-legged tori. A tori is a gate, it is a symbol of Shintoism. Half of this one was blown away by the atomic bomb. People got little origami cranes and bottles down there. You guys hungry? Yes. You guys want to get some tonkats? Yes. All right, let's do it. All right, we're gonna go to one of Becca's favorite restaurants, Hamakats. Yay! It's a chain restaurant, but they serve really good tonkats. Tonkats is a Japanese version of a Portuguese version of German schnitzel. Deep fried pork cutlet with cabbage and rice. Oh, it's amazing. Yay. Oh, this is perfect. Got sesame seeds. Can I smash them? If you want to say somebody's a brown noser or is kissing up, you go like this in Japanese. It's a tradition that you praise your host while you're going and grinding the sesame seeds. So if somebody's kissing butt, they say they're grinding the sesame seeds. Then you pour the tonkat sauce in there. Oh, arigato. Yeah, that's yours. And Tommy got some tonkats and cabbage. Molly got udon and tonkats. Nice. For dessert, we've got some cold sweet bean and glutinous rice balls. I took Becca to this restaurant 20 years ago, and so we're kind of chasing the nostalgia a little bit. This is nice. Way more than the million. Mm. Is that good, guys? You like that? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Arigato. 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 All right, guys, have you ever been on a Ferris wheel before? No. no. I'm opening. Oh. Isn't that cool? I see tons of cranes. You guys can see the ocean over there. This is fun, though, right? Yeah, it's fun. Okay. Toro. Oh. Arigato. Arigato. This park is a memorial to 26 martyrs who were crucified when Christianity was banned in Japan. In the 1600s, after a failed peasant uprising, Christianity and foreigners were banned throughout all of Japan. And this area was a hotbed of Christianity, with some areas being majority Christian. And those people were murdered or forced to denounce their faith. Lots of them were murdered. This is St. Lorenzo Ruiz. He was a Filipino missionary here and he was tortured many, many times in an attempt to get him to renounce his faith and he refused to do so and eventually was killed. Hey, look at this. These are Christian samurai sword hilts. This is a 340 year old sign offering a reward for any information that leads to the discovery of Christians. So it's, yeah. Relics from the martyr's bodies here. Oh yeah, that's a bit of his arm. Was that a bit heavy? Yes. Was it interesting though? It's interesting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Refreshing. Well, me and Nathan are kind of hot and sticky. We think we need baths. You need a bath? I'm taking a cold bath. Let's see. Now listen, you can't get into this bath until you clean yourself. What? Well, here, come with me, come with me. This is a Japanese bath, and you don't get into Japanese baths if you're dirty. Before you get in the tub, you've got a shower. That makes no sense And look, at all. and look, there's a seat here for the shower. You sit down in the shower. Now rinse your hair, rub, 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 rub. 
All right, now that we're clean, it's bath time. It's time to get in the Ofuda bar. Hey, Nathan, I got some facial. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Nathan, you like that bath? Now, taking a shower before you get into the bathtub might seem a little strange, but there's a good reason for it. The Japanese recycle their bath water. And if you're gonna be reusing the same bath water over and over again, you don't want it to be gross. So bathtubs in Japan are treated like a hot spring or a spa and not as a place to scrub yourself. Not a bad way to unwind after walking all day. Don't talk all right, guys, get your shoes on. Well, tonight's kind of a special night for me. I'm meeting some really close friends of mine and getting to introduce them to my kids. When I was about 20 years old, I served my church as a missionary for two years here in Kyushu. And I met some wonderful people during that time. And some of those friends from over 20 years ago are going to meet us for dinner. Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! Sashiburi! Sashiburi! All right, check out this restaurant. This is fancy. This is a very Japanese restaurant. Food part, okay? Hey. Nice. Oh, it's a very nice place. Hey. Look at their sausage, their sashimi, french fries. Oh, they, they got your number. Come by. Oh, look at this, how pretty this is. Mm. It goes some, got some raw fish here, a little sashimi. Oh, that. Oh, we're doing another course here. This is this is amazing food. Now, me and Becca have learned a thing or two. We've realized that we can't take our children to nice restaurants unless we reserve a private room. We have to keep the chaos contained. You're under the tip. Get out. Go sit up. We're gonna do shabu shabu. Oh, fun. It's kind of like Korean hot pot. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got some wagyu beef here. Becca, was that delicious? That was amazing. That was a feast. That was a feast. Oh, look at that. That was a feast. For coming. Yeah, thank you guys for coming. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Wait, did we give them the present? You like this? This is a fun restaurant. This was so fun. This was amazing. Over this way. Over this way. I saw him. Oh, well, it's been a lovely day, but we have got to get these kids to bed. I will see you guys in the morning. The finest baked goods 7-Eleven has to offer. The Japanese peanut butter sandwiches are the best. That peanut butter is amazing, isn't it? They're, they're dumb. They're two pancakes with butter and maple syrup in there. That's good. I figured they'd taste like a leftover pancake. No, these are really fluffy and fresh. Oh, this is the um, the mochi donut. Just share that with Mama. Mmm, that's chewy. All right, guys, we gotta leave for church here in a few minutes. So everyone, get ready. Oh, let me just. I gotta turn the lights off with this remote. There you go. It's so crazy. Right there. Call the cops. Nathan. Thank you so much. Thank you. We made it to church. Time to turn the camera off. I'll see you guys in a little bit. A ride's here. A ride's here. Come on. Bye. 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 Well, church was fun. We had a great time and I got to see some old friends. We're going to get together with a bunch of people from church and kind of hang out a little bit. Oh. Uh, so good. Mm. We're in the city of Isahaya. I lived here for eight months. This is very nostalgic. <laughs> Hey, Tommy! Oh my goodness, look at this! Oh, so You had to eat the dessert first? I'll just grab it. Oh, good job! Yeah, this is a tea made from barley. Oh, is that good food, babe? So good! Do we even know where our children are? I know where that one is. Oh, there's one! 
Uh, Jacob just fell off the slide. Oh, got a little marker in your forehead. This has been awesome. The boys have been making new friends. We've been seeing old friends, eating food, talking. It's been a wonderful day. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> All right, when you're in Japan, you've got to give presents, right? Oh, Miyagi is taisetsu de show. We brought some presents for you guys. All right, here, so Alaska chocolate. They got Alaska no berry ni haiteru. Arigato! So, you got it for your little girl there. Kore wa shinchan no tameni. You gotta be careful giving gifts to Japanese people because if you give too nice of a gift, that starts a gift war. And you will lose. I gave their father a Leatherman tool and he thought that was too nice of a gift. And so he got me a custom made hunting knife. Oh, so techy, Oh, it's These are loquats, Tom. These are biwas. Okay, we've got two presents. Me and Becca wrote a kid's book a number of years ago and one of the kid's books has Miss Fujiwara in it so we decided to give her a copy of the book. Oh, oh. oh nice! You ready to eat? Yeah! One, okay. Isn't that a lovely sandwich? Oh my goodness. That's cake. Is that pretty? What? Ooh. Well guys, I think it's time to shoot off some fireworks. Yeah. You gotta blow some stuff up. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. This is great. I have, I have one of these. Okay, everyone grab one. There you go. Oh, we. Well guys, we made it back to Nagasaki and the kids are exhausted, but we've had such a lovely time. I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning. Me and Tommy are out hunting and gathering again. We got some breakfast sandwiches for me and mom. Yeah, sure, we're here. A load of pastries, but also look at these grapes. It's like a BLT with eggs, yeah. This apple juice is so good. This pastry's got bamboo shoots in it. Mmm. That's actually really good, but it's savory. It's not sweet at all. You guys ready to go do some fun stuff today? Do you want to go to Ninja Village? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at Ninja Village in Saga Prefecture. The boys are going to start their ninja training. Tommy, you can do it. Hola, Shicha. Small for me. That's all right. All right, boys, you ready to be ninjas? Oh, a ninja. Oh. You guys look awesome. One, two, three. Oh. Now, if you guys watch our travel videos a lot, you know we've got a bit of a soft spot for local kitschy sort of activities. This is so right up our alley. Ninjas, into the shadows. They have the samurai sword. It's got the raincoat made out of grass. That's like a lady sword. Yeah, it's like a tiger claw. See, and those are shuriken. Is that samurai armor? That's samurai armor. Whoa, look at those. Here, take a left. Oh, look at all the frogs. There's no frog. I got him. Shicha, You got him? Look at the coin. Dad, look at the coin. You want to put him in the water? Ninjas, yeah. assault. They'll get splinters in your butt. Oh, you could try. Oh, you could try. I did the whole up. Wait, not. 
I hear a lot of parents say, I want to travel, but I'm going to wait until my kids are old enough to appreciate it. And what I found is that the kids do appreciate travel. They just appreciate different things than we do. While we get really excited about the history and the art and the culture, things like this drive them wild. This is ninja practice. Oh! 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 It is hot. There you go. You ready to go, Jay? Oh! 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 So good! Oh! You get the tempo. High five! Here, here, wait. Oh. That's cool. In the old days, before they had heat and electricity, this is what they would do. Here's the kitchen. Nathan, do you know what that is? That's a calculator. See, the, the families had different symbols. These are all the different crests of the different samurais. There's a ninja! This is, this is the ninja star range. Look at this. Whoa! 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 You ready to go to the haunted house? He's chopping up someone's leg. <laughs> That has to be one of the lamest haunted houses I've ever seen and it was the most fun I've ever had in a haunted house. It's all about the company you keep. You for the ninja throwing star. It's Nissan Chizu! Tavi, was that cool? Yeah. Oh, I can just sleep in the... You like Dad to carry you around in one of these? Oh. A cannon. There's a giant teddy bear. It's got trap doors in secret places. Uh -huh. I'm skinny in this one, I'm fat in this one. Oh, we have to find a way out. Secret door. This one, I think. Oh! What is this? Give me mine. It's a samurai house. Isn't this pretty? Put so your ninja clothes in there, okay? Guys, did you enjoy Ninja Muda? Yeah! Yeah! Bye bye! All right. You guys good back there? Oh, look. You guys hungry? We got Zaru's bowl for Jacob. Yeah. I ordered some Oyakodon. Oyakodon means parent and child on rice because it's eggs and chicken. Mommy, you like your food? Very much. The next day. Doing these trips is a load of fun. All right, it's starting to rain on us. I think we better get some umbrellas. You don't wear raincoats in Japan. It's too humid. Now, because everyone uses umbrellas, 
All the stores have umbrella stands outside. So you don't bring your drippy umbrella inside. Okay. We want the cream cheese. Nathan loves that one. All right, that's a lot of bread. Yeah, push the button. Oh, there you go. We've definitely found our groove here in Nagasaki. We got egg sandwiches, fresh baked bread, and fresh fruit. Ah. Tadaima. That's blueberry yogurt. Got mommy's sandwich. It's pretty good fruit, huh? Oh, now that breakfast is over, we've got to pack up and get checked out. Take your bags outside, guys. All right, guys, we're back here in Fukuoka and we're checking back into the Oriental Hotel for just one night because we want to go see a baseball game. Let me see your umbrella. I think I can place one of those. There you go. It's in a little bag to keep the drips from getting in the hotel. Oh, look at that. Mommy, you got your umbrella? Do you want some ramen? Yes, please. All right, we're gonna get some ramen. Oh. 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 Here, let's just send some of those. Oh, I love real Japanese ramen and gyozas. They're so good. One thing I love about Japan is there's no tipping. If you try to tip, it'll just cause problems. Don't do it. There's no tipping in Japan. It saves you so much money when you're on vacation. Right. Fukuoka is home to one of Japan's best Major League Baseball teams. So we're here at the Fukuoka Pepe Dome. And we're gonna see the SoftBank Hawks play. Me and mommy went to games here we back when it was the Fukuoka Dai Hawks. Want that? Yeah. That looks pretty good. You got a plushie? Yep. Okay. All right, Dave. Oh, thank you. Arigato. All right, we're watching the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks play the Chunichi Dragons. A foul ball just came over and hit Tommy in the head a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah, we just scored another point. This stadium's awesome. They actually have a retractable roof so they can open and close it depending on the weather. Do you want seaweed on your pizza? This pizza's got mustard and potatoes. Do you like the pizza? Mm -hmm. I actually like this. It's I good. It. It's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's the game. We won. I think it's time to get some kids to bed. I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. Here, here, why don't you go get your tray? Oh, look at this, it's a wall of donuts. Might have to take this little guy. You, oh, you gonna grab some? This is probably the best breakfast buffet I've ever seen at a hotel. This is amazing. They have a wall of donuts. I'm excited to try my breakfast hamburger. Dang, that is a really good burger. A red bean paste with waffles, some pasta, some rice pilaf with chicken. Jaden, hey, you like it? You want to try some corn soup? Yeah, I do. You like that? I really like that. All right. 
all right guys we're leaving fukuoka and heading to the city of kumamoto so we got to get our bags out of here and go go all right we made it to the city of kumamoto and first thing we're gonna do is go get a haircut we got some furry boys Hey boys, come on in. This is the Shakers Barber Shop, and this is the Ito family. These are my very good friends, and they used to cut my hair back 24 years ago, right? Congrats to see you. I told the boys they could get cool haircuts here in Japan, and so they've been letting their hair grow out for like three months. So Nico, you can see them in. You're looking good, Tom. <laughs> is that neat? Is it your first shave, buddy? That's a knife. That's a knife. One slight move and you'll die. Got a hot towel on the deck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I feel like I'm being nude. Oh, you got a good head, Nathan. Oh, you are, mate. Bob. Let me just ring. Back? Oh, and you are looking good. Huh? I think it's Jacob's turn. Hey Jacob, you want a you want a haircut just like Tommy? Yeah. Tommy, what do you think? You love your haircut? Yes. Yeah, you like that? You're looking good, bud. Yeah, look at that face. Guys, <laughs> yeah, those chairs are comfy, aren't they? You like your haircut? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. What do you think, Jake? Does Daddy need a shave too? Oh, <laughs> You're looking good, buddy. Yes. That is nice. Even got my ears shaved. They were getting a little hairy. Ooh, you like nice. that? Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's, nice. that's a lot of hair. <laughs> Look at that. That is a whole bunch of good looking right there. What do you think? You love your haircuts? Yep. This is exactly how I want. Every time a friend comes by, they put their handprint on the shop. You want to put your handprint on the shop? Yeah. Okay, now see that sticker right there? And press hard and don't let it smear. Yeah. There we go. Okay. That is a nice. All right, that's a good one. It's in here. Well, me and Becca are staying at a hot spring spa near a volcano tonight, so we need to get going. But we got a lot of stuff and a lot of kids, so we're bringing two cars. You ready, Dave? We booked a room in a Japanese rokan. That's like a fancy spa bed and breakfast. Oh. 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 This is gorgeous. And look at here's the bathroom. And out here, your own private hot springs bath. And you get to look over this private garden. This is a traditional robe called a yugata and they wear them here at these Rokan spas. Is up. Uh -oh. oh, looks good on you, babe. Becca's putting on the complimentary socks. Look at these. Yay. All right, guys, time for dinner. Arigato. Japanese Rokans are more like spas than bed and breakfasts. And they typically include extravagant meals. Watch that. Oh, this is basashi. Oh, it's These are your own little barbecues, and they've got some really good beef and vegetables. This is a soup that's warming up. And then over here, you've got the sashimi and those little green things. Jacob, is that pretty cool to eat your own little barbecue? Yeah. Oh, this is a Kumamoto delicacy. It's raw horse meat or basashi. 
Mm. It's good. High quality basashi can cost you well over $100 a pound. Yeah. You like that? That's really good, isn't it? We ordered kids' meals for the three boys. This came as part of the kids' meal. Mm -hmm. A meal you eat. Can I have, like the tail? You want to try the tail? Mm -hmm. This is the most amazing beef steak I've ever had in my life. Really? This is dessert. That is the best cantaloupe I've ever had. That is delicious. Isn't that really good melon? I forgot how much I like this. Well, now that we're all fed, I think it's time to soak in our private hot springs. What do you think, babe? You like this? Love it. Yeah, this is nice. Well, good morning, boys. How did you like sleeping in the futons? Like them. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to wear our indoor jackets to breakfast. Uh, I believe these are called Huntens. <laughs> this egg right here is raw and we're going to crack it in here. So we're going to get eggs and bacon. Well, check out this fancy breakfast. We got fish roe, we got fish cakes, smoked fish, a salad. I don't know what that is. Roots. Maybe yogurt? I think this fish roe is a little bit of a regional delicacy here in Kyushu. That wasn't my favorite. Oh, that looks pretty good. There you go, buddy. These meals are kind of interesting because there's so many things I don't know what they are, and a lot of them I don't even know what they're made out of. So. You're just kind of popping things in your mouth and seeing what happens. Do you have any idea what that is? No. Oh, yeah. Come to me, my children. Jacob's going to town. Good egg. Mm. Well, we have a lot of sightseeing we want to do today, so we hired a taxi for an entire day. Do you know where our first stop is? What? We're going up to the top of this volcano. Look at all the rice fields. It smells like farts, doesn't it? You guys excited to look down the mouth of a volcano? These concrete bunkers are for people to take shelter if an eruption occurred. You can see there's hard hats in there. That right there is the mouth of an active volcano. This is Mount Asa, one of several active volcanoes here in Kyushu. That cloud is full of sulfur dioxide and other poisonous gases. So if it blows this way, they'll set off an alarm and we gotta run for it. You can't see it because of the smoke, but down there is a green lake full of acid. That's the Volcano Disaster Alert Center. And you can see there's safety workers around waiting to get people out of here if needs be. The crater has this faint smell of burnt sulfur. Yeah, there's sulfur on the rocks. Yeah. Thomas, you've now been to the top of an active volcano and looked down its throat. What did you think of that? I'm horrified. Yeah. This is a Shinto tori or gate. The Shinto religion is a deep part of the Japanese culture and we are going to go up to a Shinto shrine. At the shrine, there's a little offering box that people throw coins in, and you make a prayer, and you ring the bell to get the attention of the gods. These shrines are usually erected on some sort of natural feature that's unique. If there's a cave, a river, or a beautiful mountain, the locals will build a shrine to the spirit that lives there. This beautiful natural arch is why they built the shrine here. It might look like people have left their garbage here, but those are offerings. Those are bottles of alcohol and tea, and that's a bag of rice. See here, people have left coins as an offering to the spirits. Oh, see that? That's a Japanese murder hornet. If you don't know what a murder hornet is, it's a Japanese psychotic wasp the size of a hummingbird.
supposed to raise your hand when you cross the road. There you go. Oh. Let's go get some lunch. Oh. Who wants meat and noodles? You want croquettes? There's four things. Can you sit, take a seat. Does anyone want curry? Okay, who wants chicken on rice? Here's beef noodles. Do you like your uh, noodles? So this right here is a croquette. It's like mashed potatoes with meat and vegetable formed into a ball and deep fried. Mm. We were just getting ready to leave and Nathan found a $5 coin on the ground and turned it into the store owner. So they gave the boys all ice cream for being good, honest boys. <laughs> Oh. Oh. So this is the Takachiho Gorge and normally you can rent boats and rowboat all the way up into the gorge and up to the waterfall. But because of all the rain they're worried about flooding and they're not renting boats today so eh. That's a little heartbreaking isn't it? Yeah it is. That is so cool. There's sturgeon? Yeah, that is a very, very fat sturgeon. Okay, everyone gets a bag. Daddy, take a picture of the pretty one. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, look at this water wheel. And then they use it to ma turn machinery. Oh, look at that, he's got a little trout. See him, there's a little trout right in there. What does it say? I think it's closed. Oh! Well, we had a lot more plans, but unfortunately you can't rent the boats and go up the gorge. Half the viewing platform is closed for construction and the fishing is closed for some reason. But we're still having a great time. Well, it wasn't on the agenda, but Tommy really wants to check out this aquarium. Oh! Goodness. Look at that. That's a akame. It's a Japanese barramundi. I, I think that's a nigoi. Oh. That's a Japanese catfish. Talking about an axolotl. Oh, is, it, well, is that an axolotl? Yeah, that's an axolotl. Wrong. It's an upa rupa. <laughs> Subarashi. I can say you see the nuts. Oh, you guys having fun? Yeah. They're like Cheetos, but they're sweet. To dig them out. Another good, huh? We're back in the city of Kumamoto. We're gonna check in the Candio Hotel. Oh, look at this. I gotta tell you what, guys, the exchange rate is so fabulous. This hotel was so cheap. I think it was $150 for this room. I couldn't stay in a Holiday Inn for that much money. You ready? Yep. All right, love you, babe, I'll be back. Well, me and Tommy are walking over to an antique shop. I am in the hunt for a samurai helmet. This is all pigeons too. Someone's turned these entire two homes into adjoining pigeon coops full of hundreds of pigeons. I think this is it. All right, konnichiwa. These are Japanese Higo no Kami knives. Would you want a pocket knife like this? Yeah? Yeah, this is it. Oh! Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's like, it's like a samurai hat. I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy those. I can put those to use. Arigato. Well, thank you very much. Arigato. Well, Tommy got a pocket knife. I got two really awesome old Japanese hatchets and a samurai hat. Yeah. Eat. Hey, family. Well, everyone is tired, so I'm gonna go out and get food for the family. My instructions were something simple and not crazy. 
Well, it looks like there's a show tent up ahead. We're gonna go check that out. A show tent's just a covered road that's open only to pedestrian traffic. It's kind of like a mall. I think that's a tofu burger. I got a bunch of hamburgers. I got a feeling that's gonna hit the spot. So how are you guys in the mood for hamburgers? Here is the kids' cheeseburger. And you guys want french fries? And me, I have got the fried tofu burger. Yeah, this is gonna be a wild ride. I'm looking forward to it. That was pretty good. I got something called a, a milk cream. Mm, yeah, this is a watery milkshake. You guys wanna go check, explore a little bit? Yeah, wow. Yeah? You wanna go over here and play a little bit? Look at that, Jake! Yay! Yeah. 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 Guys, you want some ice cream? Yeah. These are really good. We should bring some home to mommy. Tell me, check this out. It's a waffle. Yeah. It's an ice cream filled waffle. Jacob, these are called shoe creams. We call them cream puffs in the US. Jake, you like those? Mm -hmm. Those are really good. Those are mommy's favorite. This nice, soft, eggy pastry with a custard inside. Mmm. Well, it is late and we have a big day ahead of us tomorrow, so I'm going to put up this camera. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. If you want breakfast and you know it, pat your belly. Mama, see what you Grab your room key on. Hey, buddy. My Japanese taco here. Not a bad free hotel breakfast at all. You guys like your breakfast? Well, despite the rainy weather, me and the family are gonna go check out Kumamoto Castle. This is a famous samurai named Kato Kiyomasa. He fought on the winning side in the great Japanese Civil War. And because of that, he was awarded Kumamoto Prefecture. And so he built Kumamoto Castle. And Kumamoto Castle is considered one of the top three castles in Japan. See where they're doing all this construction and the wall of the castle was damaged? That was from the earthquake here in Kumamoto seven years ago. Oh wow, there's a lot of damage from the earthquake. You see right there. I think that's the toilet. Well, look at this guys. It's a samurai that owns a gun. He's dancing with the tanukis. Yeah, that's where they would shoot the guns out. See, what do you want to more samurai da? Here boys, hop in. So we're gonna be eating okonomiyaki and yakisoba, which are two of our favorite foods. Is that your melon soda? That is really good actually. Looks like See? Give me your plate. Oi. No, this is sweet sauce. So this is okonomiyaki. It's an unsweetened pancake with meat and ginger and cabbage. It's really good. Now Becca's having yakisoba. It's stir-fried noodles with beef and cabbage. Hey everyone out in the front. Well, we've had a good time in Kumamoto, but we're leaving the island of Kyushu and headed to the city of Hiroshima. It's only a two hour ride by bullet train. Welcome to Hiroshima. Oh, three sets of bunk beds. 
I can tell you, it can be really hard to find hotel rooms that'll fit a family of five, but here in Japan, we've had no problem. And this place was less than $200 a night. Fukuoka's playing Hiroshima. Well, everyone's tired, so I am gonna go get dinner and run a few errands. All right, I'm trying to find a really fun Japanese kids book for the boys. This is a fun little book, Gegege no Kintaro and Doraemon. And of course it's Japanese, so you read it right to left. So this is the front of the book, this is the back. Beck and the boys wanted pizza, so we're gonna try out this Italian restaurant. Hey family! SoftBank Hawks are kicking some butt. So guys, this one's a cheese pizza, and that one's a Roma pizza. I like it. I, I'm enjoying the pizza, but it tastes like octopus. Oh, 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 and that's the game. Man, they trounced Hiroshima. All right guys, we gotta get kids to bed. It is late, I will see you guys in the morning. Well, we have a beautiful full day here in Hiroshima and the first thing we're gonna do is go to Miyajima Island. We're here at Miyajima or Mia Island and there's wild deer all over the island. Barely got off the ferry and there's just deer everywhere in this park. I'm getting a bag of roasted chestnuts and sweet potato ice cream. This is the chestnut roaster. Oh. Sounds good. Remember, mommy gave you life. She doesn't have to share. Arigatou gozaimashita. What do you think of the roasted chestnut? You like that? Reminds me of a roasted potato. Chestnut. You like that? It's good. Arigatou. Look at those. Oh, those are pretty cute. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I bought a couple of replica samurai swords for our thumbnail. And because most adult men are looking for an excuse to buy a sword. Yeah, look at this. Sorry. Boys, you got this set? Look at that with a samurai sword. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love you it. Do you want to try on the gym base? You're going to put on your deer ninja socks? So you got to get your big toe in there. There you go. Your ninja sandals. Those are called getta. These souvenir shops are kitschy, but they're kind of fun. Well, the big thing out here in Miyajima is the toady in the water. In about two hours, the tides will be out and you can actually walk out to the gate. Grilled pork, grilled beef, grilled tongue. Uh, chicken ipon, uh, pork ipon. You got that? A beef tongue. Mm. The actual tongue. Yeah, it's a cow's tongue sliced up. Tastes good. Doesn't make any sense. It's good. Boy, that's one of the more Japanese things I've seen right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't eat the Here. Oh, look at that. Oh, poor guy. One of the deer came up to Nathan and bit his arm and grabbed his shish kebab. But then I threw the shish kebab so I could escape. You feeling better with the, the cold drink? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to sit down.
I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Oh, the line is huge. So me and Tom are gonna walk down. You're gonna hate going downhill by the end of this. Me and Tommy are racing mommy back to the bottom. Oh, that's pretty. Hey, are you guys okay? Hey look Tom, there's the mountain we climbed. Boys, hop in. Yep, yeah, you should be just fine. That'll, that'll, I will do. Me and Tommy wanted to see the museum and the historic sites, but mom and the other boys are too tired, so they're gonna head back to the hotel and uh, we're gonna do a little father-son time. <laughs> this is the building before and after. Check out that building. It's one of the few in the area that survived the blast. So this is the Gimbaku Dome. So this right here is where the first atomic bomb was ever dropped on human beings. The bomb blew up about 600 meters right above this spot. You notice that a lot of the girls are in kimonos. That's because the summer festival just started tonight. I think we're gonna go check it out. Here in these festivals, they open the streets to pedestrians only and they set up these stalls and it's just a great time. Everyone stays open till about midnight. Right. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, meow. Look at the little candy apples and candy strawberries. Yeah. It's like a hot strawberry covered in Jolly Rancher candy. Oh, look at this. We got roasted squid. Oh, only guys say must it. It's like pancake with chocolate in there. Oh, good, eh? You can win. Downtown Hiroshima, almost all of the neighborhoods look like this. They're just jam-packed with people from all over the area. Stalls everywhere. I think me and Tommy could have easily stayed up to midnight exploring all of that, but our legs are smoked. I was tired before we even started walking. Are your feet hurting, Tom? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Arigato. Those matsuris usually involve massive parades and fireworks and other really cool things. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> that was fun, but you might have made the right decision by staying home. My body hurts. <laughs> Get your shoes on, everyone. We're going to dinner. <laughs> because you got a kid's meal, he gets to pick one toy. Look. Yeah, I want this. Oh, all right. Well, that's perfect. Yeah. Look at that meal. There you go. Hey babe, what do you think of that burger? Good. There you go, Tom. You got some steak. That looks good, bud. Hey, mama. We have got to catch a train at 6.20 in the morning tomorrow morning. Oh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Kazuko Genki. Thank you. Yokata. Well, guys, we made it to the city of Osaka. We met up with my good friend, Mr. Sato, here. And it's Sunday, so he's going to take us to church with his family, and then we're going to go over to his house and hang out. Oh, Tsukare sama.
<laughs> well, we arrived just in time for church, so I'm gonna put the camera down and I'll see you guys in a little bit. What do you guys think? Did you understand anything? Nope. Nope. Oh, I had a good time, but getting up at 5 a.m. is catching up to me. Woo, I'm tired. Oh, here we are at the Sato family house. Oh, we were here five years ago with Tommy when he was just a little guy. Here. Oh, Miyagi, this is Arasuke no Shake. Shake. Shake jerky. On the edges, you and squeeze. And then, and then you cook it. And then you cook it. Yeah. The Sato family are making gyozas and karage. Karage is deep fried chicken and gyozas are dumplings. I'm nice. making them too. <laughs> we got Japanese curry rice. Fried chicken, gyozas, and salad. Hey boys, boys, you gotta clean up. Hey boys, grab your plates. Oh, ah. Nathan, do you like it? Uh? Me and Takia here, we served missions together for our church 24 years ago. Yeah. It was a fun time. Mm -hmm. But we better get going back home. The kids are tired. Uh. <laughs> Hey, come on, boys. Say goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, here, my cousin. Oh, there we go. Oh, kidoki. All right. Here's the bedroom. Got a little balcony out here. Oh, dear, Mama. You have a makeover there. Little Yeah. Oh, we got video game consoles. And. Video game? There are more beds down here. Look at that. They're all good sized ones too. Mario Kart. Oh stop, my goodness. My sons are now getting to experience the best video game ever made by man. Ow! Ow! <laughs> He's going to me! Is this the best rental house we've ever had? Yeah. Yep. Uh, do. Dear Luke Nichols, we have Osaka's famous cheesecake in our refrigerator. Ooh, thank you. And look at that. I got headroom. Ooh. My goodness. That is an amazing looking cheesy. Yeah, yeah, hide that away. Yeah, that's that's kids don't appreciate that stuff. Yeah, they have to All right, guys, we're getting kids to bed, and tomorrow we're going to be exploring Osaka. So I'm going to turn off the camera. I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, we got breakfast. <laughs> Having a special meal for breakfast isn't exactly a thing in Japan. So traditionally, people just eat leftovers from the night before. Mm. I wanted to do something just me and Nathan today, and I asked him what he wanted to do, and what did you answer? Shopping spree. <laughs> you want to try that? Uh -huh. We gotta do this. Okay, watch. She's gonna show you. What you do is try to pull this back to your cheek. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you did really well, David. Yeah. yeah. Got my name up on the board. <laughs> that was super fun. Ready? Okay. Go. One, two, three. <laughs> what do you think? Would that be good for me, buddy? That is awesome. He's a three-headed dragon. Yeah, Ghidra is awesome. Look at that. Yeah, looking good, Nathan. Hey, look at these. These are little catfish. Oh, you see so? Give it a pull. Yeah. Oh, let me see your awesome shirt. All right, cool. Come on, everybody. Oh, it's up. oh my goodness, this is an entire floor of a mall dedicated to Pokemon stuff. The kids are going bonkers. I did find the crab Pokemon. Yeah, look at that. The Pokemon Cafe. They have a Pokemon Cafe where they have all Pokemon themed food. The kids really want to go eat there. But they are full for the entire week. You definitely need reservations to get in. Apparently it's the most exclusive restaurant we've tried to eat at so far on this trip. It's an axolotl, or as they say in Japanese, an uba wuba. Well, the kids got a bunch of Pokemon toys and a bunch of packs of Pokemon cards for their friends back home. 
cabbage. Yeah, everyone, everyone can have one. Ah, it's like the quarter sauce. I'll eat the cabbage. Uh, arigato. Arigato good. Okay. You guys like your food? Mm -hmm. It's good, huh? That was good. It's gonna be an easy one. I can see. All right, guys, we're gonna check out Osaka Castle. Yeah. yeah. You've probably seen the sign about. There's little TV displays in the castle of all these historical events, but they're so low I can barely see them. <laughs> All right, the boys are gonna try on some samurai armor. Like five years ago. <laughs> Here, Jake. Oh, All right, guys. Arigato. 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 Oh, kawaii. Don't mind me, just chilling in samurai armor. The tallest hat ever. Arigato. 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 You end up using a lot of cash here in Japan and ATMs are a little bit of a problem. A lot of these ATMs do not have 24 hour service and are even closed on weekends. So make sure you keep a reserve of cash in your pocket. Luckily Japan is super safe so carrying around lots of money in your pocket is perfectly fine. See that right there? That's kushikatsu. That's a type of deep fried vegetables and meats on a stick. Kushikatsu was invented here in the Shinsekai district of Osaka. So a lot of these restaurants serve kushikatsu. So Becca and the boys heard what a good time we had this morning and they want to try out the archery and I want to see if I can get Becca into one of those biker girl jackets. Come on Becca. It's got a tiger and a dragon. I like this one with the, uh, the skull kimono here. Oh look, it gets awesomer inside. Oh wow. Born free, die free, yes. Boys, what do you think? Is this the coolest yes. jacket mom's ever yes. had? Yes. yes. Jacob, do you like the Godzilla one? Yeah. What do you see? Oh, dang, that's awesome. That is pretty styling, Tom. Are those? Oh, no. <laughs> Puffy shoulderness. I think I need to find another one. <laughs> When we went before, it was the best one. Oh, okay. Around, Tommy, let me see it. Oh my, that is a bold statement. I love it. Really, Tommy? Jake, you know that fits you better than I thought. That feels great. You can see your Godzilla. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, you guys are looking stecky. What was the archery flight? Boku no kudoma tachi wo yaritake atta. Hey guys, was that fun? Yeah. All right, you guys want to go do a shooting range? Uh -huh. yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. Don't shoot hey, don't women. Shoot. Oh, yay! Did you go, Yo! Oh, I got something. Yay, mom! What's that? What's Yosh! Get him, Jake! Get him. Oh! Oh! Mom, you are good at that! Look at that! Arigato! <laughs> Alright, guys, we're gonna have something called kushikatsu. Is it asparagus? Oh, oh, they look like eggplant to me. Mm. Oh, sweet potato. I think the is good. Here you go, here's your ramen. This is ramen, it's a traditional Japanese soda, and it tastes a little bit like a Sprite or a 7-Up. How do you like the fried lotus root? 
good. Well, Becca, what did you think of your first kushikatsu? It was good. I liked it. It was very nice. I think we're gonna go to the top of that tower. That is just cool. Oh, oh. oh. oh this is fast. Yeah. Right, hop out. All right, guys, we're on the roof of the Haruka 300. It's a large observatory tower here in Osaka. There's somewhere. Do you see it? You like it? Was it pretty? Yeah. Okay or not? It was hard to video up there because it was so dark, but it was cool. Uh, no. yeah. Well, we made it back to the apartment, but I need to run a few errands. Me and Tommy are going fishing tomorrow, and I need to go get some food from the supermarket. So Becca's all taken care of while me and Tommy are gone. All right, Mama, we'll be back with food. Octopus balls, spaghetti, barbecued chicken. Oh, uh, here's a beef croquette. Yeah, here's some salad. Oh. Look at those fruit sandwiches. Those look good. Yogurt drinks. Oh, I love those. This is called yummy milk. Yummy milk. That looks good. You want peanut butter sandwiches? Yes. I don't think Becca wants beans in the cereal, do you? Yeah. Melon flavored Kit Kats. Wow. Are those Mekons? Oh, yeah, we're getting some Mekons. I don't care what the price is. It's a yakisoba dog. What? Well, guys, it's late. We've got a big adventure planned for tomorrow. I'm going to put the camera down. I'll see you in the morning. All right, Thomas, let's go. Well, me and Tom are gonna go catch a train to Nagoya, Japan, and we're gonna meet a guy to go fishing for catfish. Hey, there you are. That's fast. Me and Tom have safely made it to Nagoya. Well, five years ago when me and Tommy were in Kyoto, Masayuki-san took us fishing and we had an amazing time. Yeah. <laughs> so you come... Guys, we stopped here at the convenience store and Masayuki-san has picked up some bread. We're going to catch some carp for Tom. We all got all the... We're checking little pieces of white bread on this pile of carp right there, trying to see if any will come up and eat it. We're getting a few of them, slurping it up here and there. We're gonna see if we can get one to bite our hook now. Oh, good, good cast. Oh, he's in it now. He's in it. Uh, yeah, reel it, reel it. He's on there. He's on there. Oh, it's in. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, don't let him. Oh, oh. That up. Oh, pretty nice. That's a that's a nice fish. Yosh. Good job, Tom. Yeah, I like that. That is your first Japanese car, isn't it? Yeah, put him back in the net there. I'm like, are you one? Okay, bye bye. Bread. Good job, Tom. You know how mad your mom will be if you don't come back? Oh, I got catfish! Okay, nice, it's like nice, an eel! Nice. Yeah, look at him. It's like, it's like, a, it's like an eel. <laughs> oh, he just vomit. He just puked something up. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Good job. Just caught a catfish on a spinnerbait. Look at that. He just inhaled a spinnerbait. See, look at him. His mouth looks like a flathead, and then the body is like an eel. They're like a small version of a Wells catfish. Yeah, four, only four. Oh, so Wells catfish have the six whiskers, and this one has the four. Yeah. He's got no spine on his yeah, dorsal fin. Yeah, no spine, yeah. That is a Japanese catfish. You look at that eel body and lots of slime. But he is a predator. He nailed that spin bait right underneath that bridge. Another catfish. Sayonara! Oh, God. You know, I've caught catfish before on lures accidentally, but I think that's the first time I've caught a catfish on a lure when I was targeting catfish. 
Preto. No. Look at him! Stop. Oh, he just ate it. He just... Hold on to that, Tom. Oh, get him. He's got him. Okay, oh, we got him. We got him. Oh, look at that. This is a good sized carp. That's a healthy carp. He looked smaller in the water, but now that he's getting up here, he's he's good. I split the bale. Yeah. Is that bigger than the other one? Yeah, it's getting bigger. Ah, <laughs> oh, he looks like maybe eight pounds. Eight pounds. Eat the shay, Mase. There is a big bullfrog sitting on that ladder. Sitting right on that ladder, big old bullfrog. After World War II, the U.S. tried to help rebuild Japan. And someone got the bright idea to bring bullfrogs so the Japanese could have frogs to eat. And of course they had to introduce crawfish so the bullfrogs would have something to eat. So now there's crawfish and bullfrogs all over Japan. And nobody eats bullfrogs or crawfish here <laughs> because that's a weird Louisiana thing. <laughs> but they are delicious, I love them. He's lazy. Yeah, he's in chill down. He's going. Woo! Get that rod. Okay, oh, get that rod for him. Oh, he's on. He's on. Oh, hold on. Yeah, don't let the line touch the fence. The other that one's ganky. Ganky. I think the other one was a little bigger, but this one was definitely the most feisty. That's Sayonara, carp son. Thomas, how many carp is that? I catch it. I'm getting a full. Hold it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at my, gla my sunglasses. Oh. I lost my prescription sunglasses in the water. But a carp hit him. Came up and went and nipped him. Yeah. Look at that job. Oh! He got he broke the line. Your line touched the wall again, bud. I thought the line broke. Oh, he's gonna come back for seconds. He's cocky now. Look at that. Oh, you got him, so got him. Yeah, keep that belly up against that fence. There you go. Okay, here. Nice, I give him some slack. Ow! I just trying to get this guy. <laughs> yeah. Masa Yuki san is telling me about fishing for Japanese barramundi and look at the lure they use. And uh, it's about $200. If this gets caught in a tree, you're gonna go swim for it. Right? <laughs> yeah, Woo! Hello, I need to check out. Oh, there's one right there. See up against the wall? Oh, yeah. Little baby tilapia right there. Tilapia? Oh, wait a minute. Here, keep his head in the water. Keep his head in. There you go. Oh, that's a chunky one. This, this is my first tilapia I've ever caught on a rod and reel. My first Japanese tilapia. Fish. Hey, Tommy, you want to get a picture with him? <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Oh, I caught a tilapia. Oh, you snagged oh, him. Bring him over here. What kind of... Uh, uh, are they invasive? No, nice one. <laughs> okay, hold it up. I'll hit one, two... Release these grippers. We caught like four tilapia, two of them big. We caught like five or six koi. And we caught a catfish. Yeah, it's not bad at all. We had a good day. I caught six. Masuki san, you, you always make it interesting. It's always fun. <laughs> if you're ever in Japan, you want to go fishing. Give him a call. Just like that. Okay. See ya. I'll see you next time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, I've got a little boy who's up way past his bedtime. I smell like fish and we need to get to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, come up, come up, come up. We're going. <laughs> We're on the outskirts of Kyoto City. And we're at the bamboo park. It's a massive park just covered in bamboo forests. Well, apparently there's this whole network of trails with playgrounds and parks and ponds, but it's closed on Wednesdays. Urgh. Luckily, it's a pretty big place, so we're just gonna go on other trails. You can always just... Now in Kyoto, near Arashiyama, there's a nationally famous bamboo grove that everybody goes to. And it's really beautiful, but it's packed with tourists and there's so many people you're not allowed to get off the path. This is much bigger, more natural, 
and there's nobody here and you're allowed to actually go in the forest. Well, it's a tradition that when little boys are growing up around Jacob's age, they take a traditional Japanese photo where they wear a yugata and a samurai sword. So we're going to do that with Jacob. Definitely be careful with it before the bed. Oh. Well, babe, did we get some cute photos? We got some really cute photos. I'm so itchy. The kids are ready to go, and this lovely gentleman just offered us a ride. <laughs> A very nice man just doing something to help a, a guest in this country out. Follow Tommy. All right, this is the monkey park in Arashiyama. Check it out, we got monkeys. Oh man. It is so dumb. These monkeys are pretty chill, but they are still monkeys and they just might bite your ear off. So, you know, heads up on that. Beautiful view of Kyoto and the surrounding areas. Hey Nathan, Jacob, you guys want to feed the monkey? Oh, arigatou gozaimasu. Just go and put it like that, like there, so they can reach it. There you go. Yeah. Here you go, babe. Is that good? It's refreshing, huh? Oh, that's that's gyudon right there. They got so many. Alright guys, on hot summer days like this, cold buckwheat noodles are the best. This is so many. Icy cold noodles dipped in icy cold soy sauce. I think everyone's a little tired of walking, so we're gonna do a rickshaw ride. Oh, oh. I can show you the magic of Arashiyama. This okay. <laughs> This temple's name is Time. Time. Oh, See, there's the bamboo shoot. That's what you boil and eat. What made these bamboos? Mr. Ito here is telling us that in just a few months the bamboo grows to full height. Yes. And that each one of these rungs here is a day of growth. Congratulations! Well, I asked Mr. Ito what he does for fun, and he says his hobbies are going to the gym. Yeah. This guy's a monster. Monster! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you, Yoki. Thank you for running. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, those guys are great. <laughs> that was a hoot. Yeah, it's the walls. Oh, Let's go to some of this. We're back in the city of Kyoto and we're gonna go to the Samurai and Ninja Museum. There's the Samurai and Ninja Museum. Oh, what do you get? Oh, you got ninja claws, shurikens, commas. Hey, Jacob. Well, let's see. So cool, buddy. Yeah. This is cool. 
Nathan, what? 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 That was fun, but exhausting. I'm tired. I am so tired. As always, guys, we're going to put links in the video description for all of these different activities. It's the micro pig house. Would you like to cuddle pigs? Yeah. Hey, the piggy pig zone. Oh, hey there, buddy. Hey, little piggy. Oh, yeah. see, like Oh, hello there. Pig overglow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, you want a bit of this? What do you got there? A little pig. Oh, I think he abandoned me. You pet him the stick. This pig likes me so much, he got to put on the box. All right, who wants apple juice, Nathan? Danishkata, yo. Oh. Oh. oh, the steepest stairs in the world. Oh my goodness, that was fun. Did you have a good time? I did have a good time. All right, I think we need to head back to Osaka. It's getting late. All right, good work. I like the one. We made it home. We got a bunch of boys to put to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, the Sato family said they're going to come pick us up and we're going to do a little sightseeing together. I'm really looking forward to this. Well, our first stop today is something a little different. We wanted to go to explore a nearby waterfall. So we're just going to go do a little hike. Oh, look at that. Good. Telling you, be careful of murder hornets. That was kind of a random diversion, but it was really fun. I think Japan is the best people. All right, guys, we're in the city of Nara. Shikasa. There's deer, protect Nathan. Oh dear. So Nara is famous for all the wild deer that live around the park. And you can buy the little rice cakes and feed them. You wanna feed the deer? Okay, Keoskete, this is food. Okay, these are deer sembeis, or deer rice crackers. And oh my goodness, he knows I got them. <laughs> protect yourself. Dozo. You wanna feed him? Here. Oh, I can't oh, oh, keep slipping my shirt. Okay, I'll go ahead. Oh, Shika-san. Oh, oh, come here. Oh, arigato. Hey guys, does this look good? Kids are a little hungry, so I think we're gonna get some food here. I can always get more of them. Oh, isn't that awesome? We got Noritama. Seaweed sprinkles. Do you like your seaweed sprinkles? Goodness. Goodness. This bowl I like, but the I won't. Hey guys, arigato. This is one of my favorite Japanese food. Broiled eel on rice. Love broiled eel. Mm. Oh, pickled radish. That was good. All right, we're gonna check out Todaiji Temple here. This is a Buddhist temple. Oh, Look at that. That's crazy. These Buddhist temples are amazing. They're put together all using joinery. No nails, fasteners, nothing like that. So this is what the temple originally looked like. Man, it's huge.
All right, guys, this is the gateway to a Shinto shrine. Shinto and Buddhism are different religions, but both are very popular here in Japan. See, look at the rock garden. See, they make it all pretty. Well, Nara is the home to many amazing shrines and temples and world heritage sites, but we're starting to poop out. We've already done a lot of walking, so I think we're gonna head back to the car. We're just on our way back to Osaka and Sato-san says, hey, we should stop by Horyoji Temple. Uh oh. Oh, a traditional Japanese toilet. Tommy's using his first traditional Japanese toilet. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Horyuji Temple is special because it is supposed to be the oldest wooden building in the world. We're actually only seeing one small part of the temple, but everyone's legs are tired and it's raining, so we're going back to the car. Alright guys, we're gonna go to dinner here. We're gonna do some yakiniku. Oh, dude, this is Japanese barbecue. Got a barbecue right here on the table and uh, we're gonna eat some of the best meat in the world. Alright, we've got some fat here. Than normal rice. Oh, I know. I'm getting you the. This is the best salad I've had in a long time. Salad dressing on it. Can we just finish this? Salad. 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 It's go time! I'll put this way. All right, Tommy really wants to go to an aquarium, so we're going to an aquarium. Look at all the little Japanese school kids on field trip. They're so cute, aren't they? They're very cute. Look at their little hats. <laughs> Was that the coolest aquarium you've ever been to? Yeah. All right, let's go get some food. I'm hungry. Hey, I got some food for you. This is a malasada. It's a Japanese version of the Hawaiian version of a Portuguese donut. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're taking the kids to a play area here. They're excited. Look at this. Holy mackerel, this is huge. All of these games are about eight cents a piece to play. So it's really cheap. Shooting, guns, oh, okay. They got a gun range? Can I try it? Ah, uh, this is a soccer video game. Yeah, darts, comic book room. 
tennis court, karaoke bar. We got ice cream for only 80 cents. Becca, this place is insane. Have you seen all they have? No. Find, find a roller skate and a helmet to fit you. Nathan's got this entire roller rink to himself. Woo this building is four stories tall with full of entertainment and for 15 bucks a piece, we get unlimited use of all the games and activities for 90 minutes. It's quite a deal. Okay, we're back in the Shinsekai district and we're gonna be going to a restaurant where we can catch and cook our own fish. All right, here we go. This is Tsurikichi. The entire restaurant's a giant aquarium and you get to fish for your dinner. Oh, look at this. All right, guys, it's time to catch some dinner. This is a foodie too, Tommy Matt boat, is that? Okay. Oh, he stole it. It's cool. Oh, keep him in the water. Let me. Oh, oh, good. Yes. Yes. Oh, hey guy. Oh. Oh, he stole my hook. Oh, you got it. You got a flounder. It bit it. Keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. Congratulations, Nathan. You got a tie. That's a pink sea brim. Okay, how, how do you want it cooked, Nathan? Can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. That's I'm good. Okay, they're gonna Please. go cook it. All right, Jake, you ready? Grab your fishing rod. You got, oh, here. You got one? Yeah. Here, pull up. Grab a fishing body. There we go. Oh, yay! Now, why don't you go take it with mama and figure out how you want them cooked? They'll show you pictures. You got one, Jake? You got one? Whoa. Oh, keep him up. Fight him. Oh, two of them. There we go. Yes, you got him, Jake. Let's go get I got a fish. He got that swimming so fast. Who's got to give us? A4, honey, okay. arigato. Okay. Go jerk straight up. Yosh, Becca. Oh, there you go, Becca. You did it. I got a fish. Oh, Yosh. Perfect. Oh. Yeah. Ah, oh, Joseph. Oh, look at that. It's puffer fish. Look, they've got Maine lobster, spiny lobster, got snails, butter clams. This place is crazy. Look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> あなたのお魚でしょ so here's some flounder sushi. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Flounder nuggets are good, huh? 
Thank you. You guys like your food? Thai no kushikatsu from the pink zebra. Mm. That is so good. That's really good. Masashi! That's the horse meat right there. Masashi wa dou deshita? Look at that, it's the other half of your fish, it's tempura flounder. Yeah, let's, we'll find him a home right here in the middle. Becca, you having a good time? It's good. It's very good. Yes. <laughs> Becca, was that good? Well, thank you guys. It's so fun. Thank you very much. Oh, that was so much fun. But today was our last full day in Japan. Tomorrow morning, we're getting up early and heading for the airport. So we got a lot of packing to do, a lot of cleanup to do. We'll see you guys in the morning. Like, are you tired? Yes. But well, we had a good time though, right? We had a great time. Well, listen, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed this trip. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe. We'll see you guys next Saturday morning. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.